Hi everyone, how's it going? Uh, today <clears throat> we are going to be looking into solving algebraic expressions and equations. Right? You know, solving equations, I guess. Um, it's just taking what we've done so far a little bit further and it's about using something called inverse operations. So if you're not sure what that is, it's the, the opposite of an operation. So if there's a plus, it's about doing a minus. Okay. Um, now, as you know, when you're dealing with an equation, um, or you're dealing with maths in general, really, and you need to solve, uh, or you need to work things out, you use uh, bid mass or bod mass, right, um, to solve the correct order. Well, what we're going to be doing is we're actually going to be undoing that. So instead of using bod mass, I'm actually going to use it backwards. Right, so Sam Sam Dob, right? I'm just gonna use it backwards and that's gonna help us undo some of the equation. Alright. So let me go do let's do an example. Let's say we had an equation that was something like this. Two X plus four equals twenty. Alright. What I'm gonna do is I need to undo <clears throat> all the changes that have been made to this x and get it into a form that will just be like x equals some answer right and to do that I need to do the inverse operations of the things that are attached to it but you might be wondering what order that's why we have bottom mass backwards so firstly are there any subtractions that I can undo well no there's only a multiplication and an addition okay so next one addition Right, so I can undo this addition now. So, in order to cancel out a plus four, I need to subtract four. Right, so I'm subtracting four from um, from this side of the equation. And in doing that, because this side this is an equal sign, and therefore both sides need to be equal. If I'm subtracting four from this side, I'm unbalancing this side, and therefore they are not equal. So to make it equal, I have to subtract four from my answer also, okay? So now I have two X plus four minus four equals 20 minus four. Now, two X plus four minus four cancels each other out entirely. So I get left with two X equals 16. And you can start to see how this is taking effect now, where slowly chipping away at the things that have altered x. So the additions are done. Are there any multiplications? Well, yes, there is. There's a 2. So there's 2x. How do you undo timesing something by 2? Well, the answer is you do the inverse. So you can divide by 2, which is the opposite of timesing. But again, if I'm dividing this side of an equation, I also need to divide this side of an equation. Okay? So 2 x divided by 2, the two twos cancel each other out, and we get left with x equals 16 divided by 2. 16 divided by 2 gives us 8. Uh, and that's how you get that to work, and if you, if you want to check to see if you've got it right, you can sub that back into the original answer. So 2 times x, so 2 times 8 is 16, plus 4 is 20, so you know that you've done it right. Let's do another one. Let's do 8y minus 2 equals 22. If you're feeling confident, pause the video and give this one a go and see how you go. Okay. Okay. I'll go through it now. So, uh, to undo a subtraction, I'm plusing 2 to both sides, which gives you 8y equals 24. To undo this 8, this multiplication, I'm dividing both sides by 8, which gives me y equals 3. Hopefully you got that. Um, let's see if i got another one that we can do. <coughs> okay, let's do a 2x minus 5 
um, equals 26. Alright. So, this is where it gets a little bit, um, a little bit challenging because you might assume that the addition or subtraction would be the first thing to go here, but because they're in brackets, they are actually the last thing to go. Right. So, give this a shot if you're feeling confident and see how you go. Okay, well since that's in brackets, there's no addition or subtraction, at least at this stage. There is a multiplication, because this is two times these brackets, so I can divide both of these sides by two, which gives me x minus 5 equals 13. Now that that 2 has gone, I don't actually have to write it in brackets anymore. I still can, but I don't have to. Now there's a subtraction. So let's get rid of that subtraction by plusing 5 to both sides, and we get x equals 18. All right. Um, we'll do one last one and then um, let you guys go. 3y plus 2 equals 18. Again, they're in brackets, so we do it last. Divide both sides by 3 to cancel that out. Gives you y plus 2. 18 divided by 3 is 6. So if I want to do y plus 2, I, I subtract 2 from both sides and I should get y equals 4. Okay? Now that's basically how this works. So, um, yeah, it's, um, that's, that's about it. Uh, I'll let you guys get stuck into some work. Thanks, have a good day. Take it easy.